I like ninjas. And I like Spawn. So let's open them up and see what's going on. What am I watching? Good grief. What's up, everybody? AJ's my name, the Thwip Size My Game, and as you just saw, my dad jokes are lame. And today I'm checking out the McFarlane Toys Ninja Spawn action figure. Now we'll start things off quickly blowing through the packaging because I'm sure you just don't want a review of me looking at this figure in the box. Anyway, you get the big open window with Spawn in there, some nice uh, green like necroplasm effects in the back, his accessories, the Spawn, Ninja Spawn, some cool artwork of Ninja Spawn on the side, this boring old Spawn logo on that side, and a big old picture of Ninja Spawn on the back, which is actually a comic cover. I have that issue. So that's about it. Besides the mumbo jumbo on the bottom, I'm gonna rip him apart or rip him open and take a look at him. So before we take a closer look at Ninja Spawn, we'll check out his accessories. He comes with the standard ever-present McFarlane stand, just says, says Spawn Tampoed on it. He comes with two sets of katanas, just kind of plain in a way. There is some sculpt work here for the handle. The grip, I should say. You can see a little bit of the edge. They're exactly the same. So pretty cool there. But what I like the most for his accessories, he comes with these two swords. Kind of scimitar-ish, I guess. But um, you can see, you got some nice sculpt work, some intricate designs in the blade, and the grip. It's supposed to be a little cloth-like tether, tie, whatever, knot, <laughs> that matches Ninja Spawn. So yeah, pretty cool swords. You need swords if you're gonna be a ninja. So as we take a closer look at Ninja Spawn, of course the underbody is like a Spawn symbiote with the familiar Spawn pattern, now Spawn symbiote, I should say. But what makes him a Ninja Spawn is all the stuff on top of that. <laughs> so you got this cool like ninja mask where the, the sculpt is to make it look like it's been wrapped around his head, which is really cool. You got a little symbol on the top, and I love the eyes and the, sh the green with the shading around the eyes. I think that came out really nice. And then you got like the shoulder pad piece, which has a lot of nice, um, nice sculpt work on it to make it look like leather. It's all textured with some rivets and some straps. Of course, the spikes on the side. Yeah, really cool, and that comes to the back. Of course, he has the like bandana piece from the wrap. Is it? No, be careful. That's really soft and gummy, and I don't think it's articulated. Well, I don't like that. But of course, he has some sword sheaths. He has a strap coming down with some throwing stars sculpted in. Down to his gauntlets, that same leather texture underneath some wraps. You got some more spikes on this gauntlet. No spikes in this hand. Some spikes in this hand unpainted. I didn't notice them at first. <laughs> and then you got the belt. This nice sculpted skull. Some pouches. Some looks like throwing knives around. But yeah, the so it might, like leather armor is what it reminds me of. And it does a good job of simulating leather armor. And then you got the red sash. Comes down, it's torn here. And then the front, it's more of that, I think it's Japanese symbol work. Could be wrong, correct me if I am. Some wraps around the leg. Um, some more leather shin guards, well, <laughs> leather looking shin guards. Some nice little paint work in that one to make it look a little weathered. And some more spikes on this side. And spikes like on the foot guard. So yeah, I think he looks really really awesome now as far as articulation goes i gotta admit i am a bit disappointed uh, by now we all have come to become familiar with uh, mcfarland's art, um, articulation scheme but this guy's a ninja and you need him to move more like a ninja but we'll go over it so his head is all one solid piece that's like a ball in here so you can turn side to side get a little tilt can't look up much. Can look down a decent amount. Nothing spectacular. Arm goes here, crashes into the shoulder pad. 
He swivels. He's got bicep rotation. Nice double jointed elbows. McFarland wrist joints for they swivel. Oops. And go in and out or manipulate them. Go up and down. And this here comes the disappointing parts <laughs> for a ninja. You get some nice tilt at the torso, some swivel, but rarely any crunch. Ninjas have to crunch. That's disappointing. The arc back, the arc's back. Oh, leg goes out way far. Kicks up, kicks back. And here we go, another disappointing. Barely any thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Ankles hinge back and forth nicely. And toe arc. Here he is next to the McFarlane Toys Spawns Universe clown figure, and I think he could give the clown a run for his money. As I started setting him up for the final shot, pose for the final shot, <clears throat> I noticed that the sheaths are those cheap open-ended sheaths, like the Deathstroke uh, figure from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, which I am not a fan of. Come on, Todd, stop being cheap. And the way they're set up also, you can rotate it, but I can't find a pole, a position I like. <laughs> really, but yeah, that's that's cheap. And... Come on. <laughs> and also, I would have liked for some other sheaths. This is a small gripe for the other sword, so he can hold up, uh, store all of his weapons. So, bottom line for me is that although I do like the nin this ninja spawn figure, I am a bit disappointed to be honest with you. Of course, as usual, McFarlane nails it with the details in the sculpt. He looks fantastic, but as you might have guessed, what I'm disappointed in is the articulation. I do know, as many people do know now, they come to expect uh, McFarlane's articulation scheme, but this is a ninja, and he needs more poseability. He needs more ab crunch, and he needs better thigh swivel. These thigh swivels, their scheme... A lot of times on McFarlane toys, they're almost useless in most cases. And I think the sheaths not being a full piece, a full sculpt, is really cheap. As you can see, you can see the blade going right down the top of that sheath. And that kind of ruins the aesthetic for me. And it just seems really cheap. Also, once again, be careful when moving the head around in the sash piece from his head wrap, his mask, because it is very flimsy and there is, I think there is a danger that it could snap off. So yeah, it'll be a decent addition to my spawn collection, but the disappointment is there. I mean, this, this pose is pretty decent, especially for my skills, but like once again, I think the ninja should be able to do more. So now I'm going to bring it full circle around to you guys. What do you guys think about this figure? If you own them, Especially, what did you think about the articulation? And just let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I continue to get subscribers. I'm real excited about that. Never hes hesitate to drop a comment in any of my videos. I love to get uh, talk. That's why I ramble in these videos. <laughs> and that'll about wrap it up. And I will catch you guys later, right back here on the Twitch side. Later.